Now, in honor of International Women's Month, we've teamed up with Nexstar to find the nation's first Nexstar Woman of the Year. I am thrilled to be the face of Nexstar's remarkable women campaign. And guess what? We received 10,000 submissions. And today, we're going to reveal the nation's first Nexstar Woman of the Year. Next Star television stations received over 10,000 nominations from 115 local markets. Family, friends, and loved ones nominated the women in their lives who make an exceptional difference in the workplace, the community, and in the lives of others. <laughs> Each submission was assessed based on selected criteria, including community contributions, family impact, and self-achievement. I am just, like, filled with joy and so much happiness. I feel like my heart could explode. I appreciate it. The moment we've all been waiting for, the arrival of our special guest, our four finalists of our Remarkable Women campaign. So much fun. Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you won this. How does it feel right now? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing, very privileged, very honored. Congratulations. Hi, Rosa. Thank you, Thank you for what you're doing. <laughs> and you, you truly are a remarkable woman. But I don't find myself remarkable. I just find myself wanting to make a difference in veterans' lives. Eve Peters. Come on in. Nancy Stedman Shipman. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I am so excited to have gone through this whole process. Do you feel like Miss America here with this bouquet? I'm a remarkable one. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's special because it's local. Yeah. I mean, it means so much, obviously. I love Buffalo. It's where... <laughs> so you will be going to New York City. So are you excited? I am that? so excited. Yes. yes. Their dedication to their communities inspired Mayor Baldwin to officially proclaim today Remarkable Women Day in Raleigh. I never thought this would even happen. I hope in general that um, other women will see it and go, oh, I can, I can do that. I can. Absolutely. They're so cute. We're in a gym class right now. But we have to interrupt it, okay, because we need to tell Marianne. You are our remarkable woman! Oh my goodness! <laughs> A personal invitation from us to come see us when you come to New York. Wow. 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 wow! Congratulations, Lisa, and I'll see you in New York very soon. Congratulations. Amazing. Thank Say you hi so to Mel much. for us. I will. <laughs> and have fun in New York, women. Hey. Are you excited? Have you I ever been am. to New York? No. No, oh, it's wow. on the bucket list. Guys, oh, you're heading to New York this City. This is exciting. Yes. Yes. The thought of meeting yes. a hundred other remarkable, remarkable women. women. <laughs> that is amazing. I, I appreciate it so much. <laughs> a toast this morning to all of our remarkable women. Congratulations, ladies. <laughs> Today, we've narrowed the submissions down from more than 10,000 remarkable women to the top six. And I am thrilled to introduce you to these remarkable women right now. There are top six Next Star finalists from around the country, all vying for the nation's first Next Star Woman of the Year. Dr. Jean Keel is an Army veteran who has served her country for 20 years. Jean is the president and founder of Tender Love and Care Farm, which provides healing and housing for women veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress, military trauma, and homelessness. I want the women vets to know that they can get help, and there are people that care about them. Archana Liggins, also known as the Bag Lady, donates handbags and fills them with toiletries and special items for women in need. More purses out. I'm just, I'm glad that I'm able to do it. Archana has distributed over 6,000 bags in the last three years and also helps feed the hungry throughout Northern Illinois Food Bank. Bag is blessings and grace. Julie Dumbo was out on a run when she was shot by an armed robber, which left her critically injured, losing both her hands and feet. Good morning, this is Modified Pilates. Now a quadruple amputee, Julie now advocates insurance companies to cover the cost of quality prosthetics so people can live a quality life after amputation. Live every day, because every day is a gift. Ta-da! 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 
Shannon Niebush lost her 16-year-old daughter from a rare form of cancer. She really taught me a lot about life. Inspired to end childhood cancer, she and her husband started a foundation to help families experiencing the same. Their foundation, the Madison Taylor Niebush Foundation, has donated more than $100,000 to local families who are fighting childhood cancer. I can be fearless. I can do it all. I can do whatever I want to do. Losing a child is the worst, and I survived it. Lisa Overcash has a passion for helping others. As a wellness coach, fitness instructor, and postpartum doula, Lisa donates an hour of her her time to those who can't afford it, and she does it all while having multiple sclerosis. It's an invitation to see who you are and what you can do in spite of any things you cannot change. Jill Hudson posted a viral video of her son Tucker hearing for the first time. I can talk to you now, huh? What do you do with? Now Jill's goal is to bridge the gap between the verbal and nonverbal communities. In her short two years in the deaf community, Jill quit her job and started working with the CC Group Foundation, a local nonprofit that supports American Sign Language Interpreting Services. Follow directions quickly. Now ASL services are being implemented in mainstream schools with liberty and justice for all and Jill hopes to extend that impact even further in the future. I want Tucker and every child who's deaf or hard of hearing to have friends who sign with them. It's something I hope we can branch out throughout Louisiana. Who will be the lucky winner? Now it's time to announce the winner of Next Star Woman of the Year. The winner will also receive a $5,000 donation to the charity of her choice. The moment is here. And the winner is our channel Liggins from Chicago, Illinois. Congratulations. We'll be right back.